when individuals come, the public, come to the people's courtroom, that they should have a feeling of safety and well-being. They should not be concerned about who has a gun. More fallout today after yesterday's big news conference there. It is the talk of the legal community, a controversial bill sitting on Governor Andy Beshear's desk at the moment that would allow guns in Kentucky courtrooms carried by attorneys. It was added to a bill just days before it was called up for a vote. Tonight, political reporter Rachel Droz takes the concerns to the bill's sponsor. She is in the WHS 11 newsroom with more on what we've learned. Rachel. Yeah, Doug, they are asking Governor Andy Bashir to veto this bill. They say they can't think of any benefit arming licensed attorneys would serve and think it would add unnecessary risks to courthouses across the Commonwealth. Right now, only certain people are allowed to bring concealed firearms into courtrooms. They include retired and current prosecutors and assistant prosecutors, retired and current judges, and retired and current law enforcement officers. A last-minute amendment to an unrelated bill filed on March 25th, four days before the bill ultimately passed, extended that exemption to include all licensed attorneys in the Commonwealth. This bill ultimately passed both chambers with all but one lawmaker voting for it. But the governor has yet to sign the bill, and many are calling on him to veto it. You know, I think it is very plausible that, that someone could, you know, lose track or, or get their weapon taken from them and, and really negative consequences could result. Many, including Jefferson County judges and law enforcement officers, spoke out against the measure. They're also calling on Bashir to veto it. In a community under sage from gun violence, the last thing we need is guns in the courthouse. I asked Senator Johnny Turner for an interview about why he added this amendment just days before the legislative session wrapped up. His communications staff told me he wouldn't be available for an interview until April 12th, but they told me I could send questions via email. I did and asked why this amendment was filed so late, what sort of data and research the senator looked at when drafting the amendment, and why he didn't think it was necessary to add in any oversight or registry for lawyers opting to bring firearms into court. Turner's communication staff didn't answer my questions. They told me their initial statement still stands and that they would let me know if Turner would be available prior to next week. In that initial statement Turner sent out, he says he thinks licensed attorneys should have the same rights and protections as other officers of the court and that he feels four days was enough time for Democratic leadership and the public to review the bill and weigh in on the matter. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side.